talked about this before power stations that have a direct AC plug do their AC to DC conversion inside here on a motherboard and because of that they need good AC power to work and so if they have a direct cord they will not accept this Toyota Tacoma modified sine wave inverter power that just rejects it doesn't see it if you have a power station that has a external brick all that brick is is a power supply like this that converts the AC from the inverter into DC uh, which the power station will accept gets rid of that bad modified sine wave AC uh, I don't have a external brick on this so I need to convert it to DC using a power supply and I do that and feed uh, my one of my two uh, DC inputs on this and what I'm using is this Drock from Amazon $65 power supply adjustable voltage 0 to 60 volt adjustable amperage 0 to 8 amps supposedly 480 watt power supply the most I can get plugged into the truck with 400 watt supposedly from the Tacoma is uh, 57 volts and 5.1 um, amps and that's given me 278 to 283 uh, watts being fed in there um, and so that's how I work around uh, the power station's inability to accept um, the bad modified sine wave inverter power. Just an external brick basically that you can get from Amazon, uh, but it's controlled. And the reason I that this is more important than just plugging in one that that uh, is an external brick is I can actually set the maximum amperage. What I'm worried about on this is that if something, some load like this tries to draw 700 watts, which this will accept, then um, it'll pull 700 watts through here, it'll pull 700 watts through here, and that's enough to trip the inverter circuit breaker or maybe even blow the fuse. So I want to make sure that whatever I am demanding from here has something that will limit it to 400 watts, which is what this uh, power supply will do. It lets me set the amperage and set the voltage so I can set something less than 400 watts so I can feed this and not trip my circuit breaker for the Tacoma inverter all right so that's a pretty decent solution for this it gives me 280 watts this is a 1536 um, watt hour Pecron uh, power station I've tested it it actually has about 1400 watt hours usable before it uh, shuts itself off um, on the uh, AC anyways so that would take five hours uh, for this thing at this current set setting to uh, charge it up and um, that's pretty decent 65 bucks I think that's the cheapest way you're gonna feed uh, one of these I didn't have to run wires I didn't have to do a DC to DC converter off the alternator none of that um, it's a cheap settable way to uh, feed this thing and get eh, 280 watts of power or so into it one other thing I will note is that when you're driving, the Tacoma limits the power out of there to 100 watts. When you're in park, it'll allow 400 watts. And there's a modification on Tacoma World. And all you got to do is uh, get into the center console, lift that up, and clip two wires. Um, and it'll give you 400 watts driving anytime. It's a proven. Uh, modification that they've been doing for 15 years on the Gen 2 and Gen 3 Tacomas. So this now lets me have 400 watts while I'm driving, which is about, um, well, 270 watts, which is about like what a uh, 20 amp alternator DC to DC uh, thing would supply. All right, hopefully that was uh, helpful to you. If you found anything useful in there, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video. And if you like the content I'm providing, uh, you might consider subscribing. Thanks for uh, watching this.